Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to Blender in 5 Minutes, the place where I try and give out some really interesting tips and tricks all in just 5 minutes. Today, we're going to be looking at texturing. Now, when I say texturing, in specific, I mean PBR rendering. I get this question a lot, but how do you make your textures? How do you get them to look so realistic? Well, the truth is, it's really easy. Head over to Blender and what I have here is just this really simple scene, just a sphere with some environment lights. For this to work, you're going to need a minimum of three textures. The base color, the roughness, and the normal. Shift A and add in an image texture. We're going to duplicate this three times for those three textures. Once you're done with that, we're going to click open and locate our textures. In case you're interested, I will leave a link down in the description. Now we're going to add this base color into the input. And as you can see, this is just the base color as is. So I'm going to press Ctrl T to bring up the mapping outputs. And I'm just going to increase the scale to a value of five i think this should be okay i just want to demonstrate the texture so i'm going to click open again and this time i'm going to locate our roughness texture which is this one and i connect that to the roughness now what this does is it gives in some reflection information so now if you have a look at that we have some reflections if i'm to preview this material just have a look it's just a simple black and white image which shows where the reflective parts are and the non-reflective parts you know so we're going to locate the final texture which is the normal map and this one's actually really interesting have a look at that it's kind of a weird texture just make sure that most of these textures are set to non-color data um, and to make this one work we are going to connect that to the normal now let's have a look at that and then the second thing to do from here don't forget about this we're gonna need to add in a normal map and just slot that right there in the middle and now it should work properly now if you look at that it now gives us some height information giving us that realistic look that we're going for so now we have some height information and some roughness i'd encourage you to check out texture haven it's just a really really awesome website I can't recommend it enough, honestly. I use this website almost all the time when I'm making scenes, assets, models, you know. It's just a really awesome website. And lastly, I'd like you to check out GameTextures.com. You won't be disappointed. Otherwise, that is all from me. This one was kind of a short one. Um, but you know what? I'm actually planning on making a longer one in the future. So if maybe you're interested in that, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. This is me signing out and I'll see you in the next video. Dun, dun.